Hello guys, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I'm the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today I am going to be talking about calcium sulfate. So the reason why I decided to talk about calcium sulfate is because it's a very misunderstood salt in hydroponics. A lot of people believe that calcium sulfate cannot be used in hydroponics. A lot of people will tell you, no, you can never use that, that's too insoluble. And today I'm going to explain why this happens and how we can actually use it in hydroponic culture. So calcium sulfate is what we call CaSO4, and usually it has two waters of hydration and this is what is commonly referred to as gypsum, this particular form of calcium sulfate, which is the most commonly available one. This is very calcium rich, it's 23% calcium, and it's also pretty sulfur rich, it's 18% sulfur. So using cal calcium sulfate, we can add significant amounts of both calcium and sulfur. Now, why do most people say you cannot use this in hydroponics? Well, the answer is solubility. So that's the main issue with calcium sulfate. But really, is calcium sulfate insoluble? That's the question we want to answer. Is calcium sulfate insoluble? And is it really, what does it mean for something to be insoluble? So calcium sulfate, if you look at the, if you search for the solubility of calcium sulfate as a function of temperature, you look at the grams per liter solubility of calcium sulfate as a function of the temperature, let's say in degrees centigrade. You will see that calcium sulfate has something that we call retrograde solubility, which means that the solubility goes up and then it goes down as a function of temperature. This max here is at around 30, well, it's around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. And that's the point of maximum solubility, which is around 2.5 grams per liter here. So 2.5 grams per liter is not a lot. If you consider something like calcium nitrate, we can probably dissolve, depending on the temperature, more than 500 grams per liter. So it's more than 50% soluble. Calcium sulfate, on the other hand, only a little bit, 2.5 grams per liter. But how much does that actually give us? We know from the composition that 100 milligrams per liter of calcium sulfate of gypsum would give us 23 ppm of calcium and 18 ppm of sulfur. We know that from the composition values. Now, this means that if we go to 2500, which is 2.5 grams, milligrams per liter, then this would give us 582 ppm of CA, of calcium. Now, if we think about the fact that most plants require 100 to 200 ppm of CA, then this means that we can provide the entire plant need of calcium from a calcium sulfate if we wanted to. However, because the solubility is only 2.5 grams per liter, this means that we cannot prepare concentrated solutions of calcium sulfate. So its use has some caveats. The first is that you need to do direct addition to reservoirs. So you need to add the calcium sulfide di directly to your final nutrient solution. You cannot have concentrated nutrients. So no concentrated solutions. You cannot prepare a stock solution and then dilute it with an injector. You need to add this directly to a reservoir. The third is that you do not heat the water to dissolve it because of the retrograde solubility of calcium sulfate, heating it is counterproductive. So you do not want to heat solutions past 20 to 30 degrees, which is normally close to room temperature, depending on the time of their year and when you are, where you are. But if you are at like 25 or 20 to 25, do not heat it because 
it's very, going to be hard for you to heat it in a way that you don't decrease the solubility. The other thing is that due to this limited solubility of calcium sulfate, it can also be used as an amendment. So if you have some media um, that, you, that you're going to use, you can actually incorporate some calcium sulfate in it and it will dissolve slowly through time because achieving this solubility, another characteristic of cal calcium sulfate is, although this is the solubility of it, it would take some time to dissolve 2.5 grams per liter because it's so close to its maximum solubility, it will take time to dissolve that max amount. So if you just run water through a media that has calcium sulfate, it will only dissolve partially every time you do an irrigation. So it can be used as an amendment as many of you probably do in organic gardening or in soil gardening or in any sort of usage um, that is not in hydroponics. So in today's video, I hope you learned why calcium sulfate can be used in hydroponics. It cannot be used in concentrated solutions, but it is soluble enough to be used in reservoir additions, direct reservoir additions. And it is so soluble, in fact, that you could add all the calcium that you would need for plant growth without any other calcium salts if you wanted to do that. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.